China's longest cross-city subway is coming. China's Greater Bay Area is gradually evolving into a super city. The new super subway is an epic-making appearance. An important transportation trunk line with a total length of 258 kilometers, running from east to west and connecting five cities, is about to be launched. In this video, let us learn more about it. According to reports, the Guangzhou Foshan South Ring and Foshan Dongguan Intercity Railways in China's Greater Bay Area are about to be put into operation. It will be connected with the already opened Foshan Zhaozhou Intercity Railway and Dongguan Huizhou Intercity Railway on four lines, connecting the five cities of Guangzhou, Foshan, Dongguan, Zhaoqing, and Huizhou. A traffic artery with a total length of 258 kilometers spanning five cities and running east-west is about to be launched. Intercity railways are not new, cross-city subways have also existed for a long time, but the most innovative aspect of this transportation artery is subway operation. First, the four intercity lines are not constructed and operated by traditional railway departments, but are handed over to the subway group. The platforms, signs, and station announcements of these lines are almost the same as those of the subway, but the fare standards may be different. Secondly, this super intercity subway adopts a bus-based and subway-based operation model of stops at stations plus express trains at major stations. It is only 258 kilometers long, has 39 stations, and has a maximum speed of 200 kilometers per hour, which is different from traditional railways. Thirdly, you can go anywhere, there is no need to buy tickets in advance, and even ordinary transportation cards can be used which is substantially different from high-speed railways and intercity railways. No matter how you look at it, this is no longer a traditional high-speed rail, but an intercity subway or a large subway. In fact, this is not the first time that intercity subway has appeared. Prior to this, the guangzhou Shenzhen Railway, Guangqing Intercity, and Guangzhou East Ring Intercity had already adopted the subway operation model. In the near future, the entire Greater Bay Area will be connected by the Intercity Subway, one network, one ticket, one city, connecting different cities into one. China has both high-speed rail, intercity rail and other railway networks, as well as urban rail transit systems such as subways and trams. In the past, there were two systems. One was owned by the National Railway Group and the other was owned by the local subway company. They could be described as distinct. The railway system focuses on travel across cities and provinces. High-speed railways focus on inter-provincial and inter-large city travel. Inter-city railways focus on within urban agglomerations with a radius of 100 kilometers to 300 kilometers. In contrast, subways focus on transportation interconnection within cities and extend outward to the urban area. The radius is usually within 50 kilometers. Even cross-city subways generally do not exceed 100 kilometers. The advantage of railways is speed. Morning and evening travel between Beijing and Guangzhou has long been a reality. The advantage of the subway lies in its passenger flow, covering more stations, shorter intervals, and carrying higher passenger flow. No matter how you look at it, these are two completely different modes of transportation. Why were they eventually merged together? On the one hand, in the second half of urbanization dominated by subway metroancing layer by layer and constantly extending outward. In the past, urbanization was dominated by central cities and most of them developed independently. But as cities continue to spread outward, geographical boundaries tend to disappear and gradually merge into one, 
The emergence of subway politan areas and urban agglomerations is a matter of course. Subway politan areas are marked by urbanization and urban agglomerations are aimed at integration. The interconnection of transportation is the basic prerequisite and the connection of high-speed rail, intercity railway and subway has become a reality. On the other hand, not every city is qualified to build subways and the construction of cross-city subways requires curving curves to save the country. Currently, only 40 of China's more than 300 prefecture level and above cities have opened subways, and almost all third and fourth tier cities are shut out. The reason is that subway construction must weigh passenger flow and debt pressure. Without sufficient economic, financial and population support, it will only do more harm than good. As early as a few years ago, China had raised the GDP, financial, and population thresholds for subway construction. In recent years, it has restricted the first round of subway planning for new cities. Fortunately, the emergence of the subway politan area and urban agglomeration strategy has provided a new possibility. Some cities use the subway politan area strategy to extend their subway networks to other cities within the subway politan area. This is true for Wuhan and Azhou, Shangzutan, Nanjing and Maanshan, Chengdu and Jianyang. The same goes for intercity subway. With the help of subway operations, traditional intercity railways will be turned into large-scale subways thus helping many cities to realize their subway dreams in disguise. This model is expected to be replicated in more subway politan areas and urban agglomerations in the future. As the most mature world-class urban agglomeration in China, the 11 cities in the Guangdong Hong Kong Macau Greater Bay Area are almost connected into one, just like one city. The Guangzhou Subway Politan Area and Shenzhen Subway Politan Area, which were approved at the end of last year, are the most mature national level subway politan areas in China, and their degree of urbanization is much higher than other regions. It has the world's largest manufacturing base, the highest density of airports and ports, and a dotted transportation network of high speed rail, intercity, and subway. It is worth mentioning that the Pearl River estuary is embarking on a big patchwork. Eleven cross-sea passages, including the shenzhen Zhong Passage and the Human Bridge, connect the east and west banks of the Pearl River. The one-hour traffic circle, one-hour economic circle, and one-hour living circle, pursued by many places have already become a reality in the Greater Bay Area. As early as more than 10 years ago, China's first cross-city subway, the Guangfu Subway, was opened. Today, there are three cross-city subway lines between Guangzhou and Foshan alone, and 18 more lines will be connected in the future. Not only Guangzhou and Foshan, but also Guangzhou and Dongguan, Shenzhen, Qingyuan, Zhongshan, and Huizhou will be directly connected by urban rail. Shenzhen will also be connected with Huizhou, Dongguan, and even Zhongshan and Zhuhai. Thanks to the connectivity of transportation, the frequency of cross-city commuting in the Pearl River Delta is much higher than that of other urban agglomerations. Data show that the nine mainland cities in the Greater Bay Area have a total cross-city commuting population of 1.2 million and the average daily travel volume exceeds 6 million. The average daily travel volume in Guangzhou and the Bay Area cities alone is as high as 3.07 million. The continuous emergence of Guangfu, Shenzhen Dongguan and Shenzhen Hui migratory bird groups is the best example. Therefore, Guangdong has taken the lead in urban integration with huge cross-city commuter traffic and intercity subways are also at the forefront. It is not difficult to understand that the intercity subway is the first to start here. 
The Greater Bay Area is home to international financial centers such as Hong Kong, Shenzhen, and Guangzhou, as well as trillion-dollar cities such as Shenzhen, Guangzhou, Foshan, and Dongguan, as well as industrial cities represented by Zhuhai, Zhongshan, Huizhou, Zhaoqing, and Jiangmen. Not long ago, Guangdong proposed to focus on building a 100-kilometer golden inner bay around the Pearl River estuary, driving the coordinated development and rapid development of the three major subway politan areas of Guangzhou, Shenzhen, and the west coast of the Pearl River estuary. The Golden Inner Bay is one of the areas with the highest economic density, population density, and enterprise density in China. In 2023, the total GDP of the 11 cities in the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area will exceed 14 trillion yuan, equivalent to approximately 2 trillion US dollars, which is enough to rank among the world's 10th largest economy in the world. With less than 0.6% of China's land area, the Greater Bay Area has created one-ninth of China's total economic output and is home to more than 86 million people. Businesses are coming in droves. The Greater Bay Area already has more than 75,000 national-level high-tech enterprises, and the Shenzhen Hong Kong Guangzhou Technology Cluster has ranked second in the world for four consecutive years. Strong economic industries, a huge population, and strong innovation power have driven the intensive flow of people, logistics, information, and capital flows within the Bay Area. The emergence of cross-city subways, intercity subways, and cross-sea bridges is the product of the continuous integration of the Greater Bay Area, and a reflection of its becoming more and more like a city. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.